possible executive action on immigration from President Obama. The federal government announced Monday that three military bases in Oklahoma, California, and Texas, temporarily housing close to 8,000 unaccompanied minors, will be closing. The shelters will be shut down within the next few weeks, with one closing as early as Friday. The government says the move is because fewer kids are being caught on the border. Meanwhile, Louisiana Republican governor and potential 2016 contender Bobby Jindal took a trip to the border yesterday, where he had a harsh words for President Obama, but praised Texas Governor Rick Perry's decision to send National Guard troops to the border. I want to commend the state of Texas, Governor Perry, for sending these forces to the border. It is already making a great impact. The president needs to secure the border. Stop talking about it. Stop blaming people. Stop saying we need comprehensive this or that. The first step, the most important step, the next step, let's secure the border. Joining me now is Florida Republican Congressman John Micah. Congressman, thanks for being with us. Good to be with you this morning. Thanks. As we await President Obama's possible executive actions on this issue of immigration, Congress not giving him too much to work with before you guys went on uh, break, Speaker Boehner even called on him to act. So what should we be doing? Well, right now you have a standoff uh, at the border, and it really is uh, uh, the result of failed Obama uh, administration policy. First, to uh, the president took a 2008 law that was designed to uh, give some refuge to ch uh, children in certain countries that uh, were being abused and trafficked, um, and then uh, passed an administrative uh, law or a, a, an edict to, through the Department of Justice not to prosecute, and then finally um, opening the door with his pathway to citizenship and his policy to uh, um, grant amnesty for uh, for millions and uh, that results in uh, people who uh, are trying to get their children's uh, foot on American s uh, soil and have some chance of uh, citizenship that's held out to, uh, as hope. So this is the result of a, a staggered uh, but uh, great failure in, in policy. Now, uh, now, because now, uh, on, now yeah, we're at a standoff. We're at a standoff. Uh, the uh, House passed uh, some funds to secure the borders, and you have to secure the borders. Uh, we also gave uh, funds uh, in our legislation uh, to, uh, to fund the National Guard, allow the National Guard to go in. If the federal government won't do this, we can allow the governors to go in okay. who, or, who can take action. Now, now, Congressman, let's talk about this because that, that law that you refer to was passed in a bipartisan manner in December of 2008, and then the president's deferred action, which is now about two and a half years old, has no pathway to citizenship, no pathway to residency, no amnesty under any definition of the word, and that happened two and a half years ago. So my, my question would be, why is it that we're waiting for 56,000 kids to appear on the border and hand themselves in mm -hmm. well, again, uh, to again, even the, deal with this. Again, the law was in place in 2008. It had a good purpose. Yeah. They took a loophole, and in 2012, they passed uh, this uh, DACA legislation, which deferred uh, prosecutorial uh, action against these childhood uh, entrants. And then you uh, open the door by telling folks, well, we're going to pass legislation that will grant uh, amnesty. You get your foot in the door, and uh, you have some hope of uh, having your child but, uh, uh, become a, a citizen or uh, be granted status but, in the United States. And that's what brought this on. It's opening but, the door and not enforcing the laws and intended. But, but isn't the fact of enforcing the laws and closing the border, isn't that talk of immigration reform? Isn't the fact that you, when you talk about issues like closing the border, making the border less porous, but also dealing with 11 or 12 million people who are here, who have been here for a lot longer than just October of last mm -hmm. year, that talk is what you all are supposed to deal with, right? Because either way you look at it, there is a crisis and an immigration crisis. Why are you waiting so long to deal with this and letting events shape how you deal with legislation. 
Well, actually, I think the House Republicans came together and passed a measure that gives some funds uh, strictly to in, uh, enforce our laws and secure the borders. If the president mm -hmm. won't do it, we're giving uh, funds and permission to the National Guard to do it. Then we're also stopping the, the loophole in the 2008 law that people have been taking ad advantage of. So um, I think we've taken the steps. The Senate did not pass the president's proposal left town. Uh, the bill is there. It can be passed and would be a good me uh, start in getting control of our borders that we have to do and getting control on having illegals, whether they be children. And we're compassionate about uh, how we treat children coming across the border. But the whole world can't send their children uh, to the United States and have the taxpayer pick up the tab, nor should we be granting them citizenship. Congressman Micah, thank you so much Good for your to be time with you. and for being with us this morning. Thank you. Kids, Congressman was just